Smith's heartbeat was thundering in her ears. She cradled her hands. Her eyes fluttered as she tried to control her body. It felt like she had been catapulted back into the past. The stained carpet no longer read welcome. Even though half the street had collapsed, her family home remained untouched. As if they knew the evil that lurked there and did not dare touch it. Her brother's death weighed heavily on her mind. She had practically raised him until she ran away. The birth of her baby made all the struggle and agony seem worth it. But the news of her brother's death reminded her that she still had a burden to bear. One that might come back on her son if she continued to ignore the simmering pot. That could explode at any moment. Hey, Ma, what are you doing here? I know it's been a long time. Come to Milan. I didn't mean to visit, but... Smith's voice broke. A whirlpool of emotions were welling up within her. It was suffocating. She swallowed back her fear and pushed through her tears. I'm grieving. I've lost someone. Do had to say the words because she did not feel them. And Smith was starting to feel like her mother never would. I, I couldn't find the words in my life right now. I didn't know what to do. Vulnerable evil. I just stayed away. Her voice wavered. The emotions were just as volatile and untamable as before. She realized nothing had been resolved and it never would be. I know you can't forgive me. I guess I'm just not asking you to. But mama, I need to know what happened. This the last time I hear those words coming out of your mouth. To your papa. I don't want to have this conversation. I know it was. Again. She continued to speak before she lost the nerve to say what needed to be said, even if her mother refused to listen and talked over her like she normally did. Traumatic experience for you, if you understand me. I, I guess I just need to know someone else is going to end. Maybe to try and understand sad. where you're coming from. And I guarantee it won't be me. I know we've never been close, but. I do try to understand you, cause, well, I love you. I've been a bit lost without you. I missed you, a lot. Now leave me to my grief, dearie. There was no life in Doe's voice, just a cold indifference that haunted Smith's memories. I know things can't go back to normal, but maybe if I understood where you coming from and the trauma, you need to stop. Maybe we could move. A crescendo of conflicting emotions took Smith's voice away. Move on, you know. I'm telling you now. I understand if, if you don't want to. I'm too fragile for it. She waited for the words she longed to hear, but they never came. Okay, Mama. I'm not in my right mind. Shut me out like you always do. But, no, I love you. I can't deal with it. Right now, and I always will. I think you should leave. Even though I can't stand to be around you right now. I need to go. I need to go again. I'm finding Dandy. Please, Mama, just say. Just say what I need to hear. So that we can move on. That stage, you're welcome. Okay. I try. I ain't playing around no more. Your mom needs to know. They need to know the truth. Oh, you're not going. I need to know the truth. Not anymore. Smith's head felt like it was going to explode. See, how do you do that for me? The pressure was excruciating. It trickled through her brain until it destroyed the last piece of her mind. Your back for DCP was returned today for the inquest into the death of Lana Smith, daughter of John Smith, also deceased. Her mother stated that the young lady tripped on her skirt, tried to catch herself on a table, which caused an ornate statue to topple off and hit her head. The doctor was immediately sent for, but it was too late.